and welcome to a user's review of the Out and About Nipper Sport V4 running buggy. In today's video we're going to be looking at the Nipper Sport V4 which is the sport running buggy from Out and About. We got this buggy to do not just running but some more off-roading and beach trips as well. We wanted something with slightly better suspension so the little one was a little bit happier in it. As you can hear she seems pretty happy in it right now. You might also want to check out our video on the unboxing of this running buggy. It took me slightly longer than it should have done to put it together so hopefully I can save you a little bit of time. That video is linked in the description down below. Starting with the handlebars, you've got a safety strap which is something I really miss on my normal buggy when I'm going up and down hills. So this is great particularly if you're going to be moving at speed so the buggy doesn't run away from you. You've also got a handbrake, so if you're going up and down hills, you've got a little bit more stability. And I do like having both of those. I'm a bit nervous when I'm running, so it's quite nice to have those. It's also got this adjustable handlebar, so you push both buttons in and you can adjust the handles up and down. That's really useful depending on if you're taller or shorter and your running position as well. Um, it's a bit of a knack getting used to running without your arms. Some people like to run with one hand and use the other one still to pump. I prefer to have both on the handlebars, but it's just personal preference. You've also got side pockets at the top. You've got just pop-in ones, and then you've also got ones with zip. So keys and things can go in there, but you might want to have your iPod just tucked down in there so you can get to it, change tracks and things a bit easier. There's also this great viewing panel in the top so you can see straight through into your small without having to go around the front of the buggy. It's got a retractable hood like most buggies do and then we'll come round to the front. So here we've got Felicity nice and cosy inside. It is quite cold today so we've also got uh, this is like a fleece line sort of sleeping bag basically uh, that's an additional item but I will link that in the description down below. It just straps in through the straps like they all do on buggies um, and you can see that in the unboxing video how I connected those ones in. <laughs> oh left off in the top which is quite good because there's a little footrest under here so when we haven't got the sleeping bag and she's a little bit taller she'll have something she can rest her feet on. Nice and snug. Very important roll bar. Um, this buggy does feel very stable whether I'm on really bumpy surfaces or whether I'm on flatter surfaces going at speed but I do feel that this would be a really nice protection if we did go over. Um, Listy also likes holding on to it sometimes, um, even with little arms that can just reach it. She seems to be quite keen on that one. It's got a five point harness system inside. It's a little bit fiddly to get a small person into it. And this one's not particularly keen of going in the buggy. She's great once she's in, but the actual getting in is not very popular. Um, so that's a little bit annoying, but I'd rather it was a little bit annoying getting her in and know that she was really snug and secure. There's lots of adjustments you can make so that the harness fits them perfectly. So it's good to have a good fiddle about with that um, and make sure you're getting it right so they're comfortable and safe. This buggy really handles off-road well. We've done sand dunes, muddy hills, bumpy park, and it's been great. The bar detaches quite easily with just the little red things here pops out from both sides. Easy peasy. So down here you've got the normal, the main pedal brake. So this is the one that you can clip on and clip off and it will stay on or off. Then also a great feature with this running buggy is that you can recline it. So this buggy is suitable from birth. You might not want to do big bouncing around from birth, um, but most of them are only from six or nine months because it hasn't got this reclining feature. See Felicity's gonna tell us about it as well. So it's nice and easy, you just squeeze the two together and pull it down to bring it down. However, getting it back up is not so easy and the only way I've found to do this is using my head, literally. So you have to squeeze it and push it back up but this stays in the way so if you've got no one else with you, you have to lift it, wedge your head underneath and then do it up. I literally can't think of another way of doing that but the head's working so why worry. Then you've also got a little bag down here. Again, you don't want to be putting too much in it though if you're going for a run, but it is quite useful if you're popping to Tesco's on the way home. So another great feature on this buggy is this little air vent at the back. So you've got two little zips, and then it's just a mesh as opposed to a fabric, allows the air to flow through. We want to have this as our holiday buggy. We go to Norfolk quite a lot. We want to be able to take it on the beach, and this means it's not gonna to get too hot in there as well for her. 
So I think this is a great little added extra. So this is the waterproof cover that comes with the buggy. It didn't actually state in the description that it came with one, but someone else had told me it did, so I didn't buy it separately. So do be aware of that when you are purchasing your buggy. This is also quite good as an extra windshield, I have been advised. Just sits over the top, and then you've got these little elasticated cords with poppers that just wrap around this bar here and pop together. So you've just got one on both sides. So particularly if you've had another buggy before this one, the steering is a bit of an adjustment, uh, is as in you literally have to adjust the buggy each time. When you're running or going on long walks with it, this isn't a problem, but I wouldn't be going in and out of shops or anything with it. As you can see, it's not gonna win any slalom races. Uh, same with gates and things, I just lean it back so I'm only on the back two wheels um, to get through sort of tight spaces and round tight little corners. It does do the job and the locked front wheel is a big part of the reason it can handle the sort of more bumpy terrain which you want it to and need it to. Same with curbs, you just lean it back and let the front wheel lift and then you sort of have to lift the back two wheels up yourself which is a little bit annoying so I wouldn't be taking it on any public transport. So you've got three options when folding up this buggy. You can leave both the wheel sets of wheels on, just take the front off or take them all off. Either way you've just got to lift these panels here and then you've got this little handle here and it folds up like that. It's really that simple. But I'm gonna show you how to take the wheels off because it will fold up a lot smaller if you have those off. So this is how you take the wheels off. There's just a little red lever you push and you slide the wheel out. I feel like this is fairly idiot proof and same on the other side. This one's a little bit trickier and I will admit my hand was very cold at this point. Uh, so these are similar to the things you get on like bike wheels and like a normal push bike. Um, you just sort of fold it out and then keep turning it. Uh, but my hand was really icy. So turn it a few times, see if the wheel will pull out. No, turn it a few more times. And eventually, eventually, <laughs> eventually, there we go. So once you've got all the wheels off, this buggy folds down particularly small. Um, it's also really light, which is really nice after my other buggy, which I love, but is not light. Uh, so this is gonna be the one that we sort of take on holidays and things and, and folding up at the gate, which is a bit of a pain, but I'd rather have a buggy we can do more stuff with. Um, and then you've got to put all three wheels in, so maybe like a big blue Ikea bag for those. Thank you for watching. Please hit like if you found this mildly entertaining or in any way helpful. Do hit subscribe so you never miss out on a video again. Also come and find us on Instagram to follow our many mini adventures. We'll see you again soon.